We humans share roughly 80% of our DNA with cows, 75% of our DNA with mice, and 50% of our DNA with bananas. But our closest known genetic relatives are the bonobo apes. Having roughly 98% of our genes in common, some of these apes are roughly twice as strong as humans, can jump 20 feet in the air, and run at speeds upwards of 30 miles per hour. These apes clearly physically outmatch us humans, so could they one day create a planet of the apes? Well, the first thing they would have to do is become a lot smarter. Drugs called nootropes are specifically designed to enhance attention, cognition, memory, and concentration. These drugs have been known to treat ADHD, Parkinson's, and even Alzheimer's, but they only work for short periods of time before another dose is needed. A type of treatment called gene therapy delivers DNA into a cell of an organism in order to alter specific genes. It's usually done by engineering a virus that implements itself into the host cell's DNA, allowing it to replicate and produce a more permanent biochemical effect on the cell. Theoretically, this type of treatment could eventually help increase the intelligence of our ape brethren and allow them to become as smart as humans. But even if they did become extremely intelligent creatures, they would still be outnumbered by humans 7,000 to 1. So, worldwide domination would be unlikely unless our society became ravaged by illness and disease. What's scary is that this has actually happened before. In 1918, the Spanish flu killed nearly 100 million people, which was about 5% of the world at the time. And if a disease similar to this were to exist today, it could spread worldwide in a matter of hours, wiping out most of our population before we even have a chance to find a cure. This would leave our species very vulnerable and potentially allow a rise of the planet of the apes. Plethrons and I made another video over at his channel, so make sure you go and check it out. I'm Jaxi, and thank you for watching.